Yeah, breaking news at this hour, a developing drama playing out over the skies of the Carolinas. Breaking news, the U.S. tracking a suspected Chinese spy balloon flying over the United States. In regards to our announcement last night regarding the high altitude surveillance balloon, I'm not going to have much new information to provide other than to say that the North American Aerospace Defense Command continues to monitor it closely. Just moments ago, President Biden responded to a question about it. Listen closely. The Associated Press were checking Twitter on several different official. Oh. oh, I believe it just happened there. Developing right now, residents in East Palestine, Ohio, are under expanded evacuation orders after a 50 car train derailment. Emergency crews are working to vent toxic chemicals from five cars near the Pennsylvania state line in order to reduce the threat of an explosion. The train derailed Friday night has been, uh, the wreckage has been smoldering as you see there ever since. Norfolk Southern Railway says no crew members, residents or first responders have been hurt. We have some breaking news for you now and a high altitude object has been shot down over Alaska just days after the US fired at a suspected Chinese spy balloon. We have no further details about the object at this time, including any description of its capabilities, purpose, or origin. The object was about the size of a small car, so not similar in size or shape to the high altitude surveillance balloon that was taken down off the coast of South Carolina on February 4. The, uh, the object was flying at an altitude of uh, 40,000 feet and posed a reasonable threat to the safety of civilian flight. Yeah, so at this point, uh, we don't know. Again, I'm not able to go into more detail. Again, I'm not going to have details to provide it at this point in time. I, I, I have real concerns about why the uh, administration is not being more forthcoming with everything that it knows. Evan Lambert was reporting live from a press conference by Ohio Governor Mike DeWine about the train crash that threatened to send toxic chemicals into the air. NTSB says five of the cars that derailed were carrying vinyl chloride. Officials say air quality and the water supply, which are being monitored, remain safe. We are not aware of any elevated readings that would we would anticipate to have impact to human health. New this morning, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sent a letter to Norfolk Southern stating these three other chemicals were also aboard in some of those rail cars that caught fire. We spoke to a hazardous material specialist who says that some of these chemicals are carcinogen. I can't stress enough that if you are in the evacuation zone, you need to leave. The latest now in our breaking news, the U.S. military has shot down another high altitude object. Now there is this trio of unidentified objects with very few descriptors and big questions about where exactly they came from and who they belong to. They write, though the company's 150 car train in Ohio reportedly burst into 100 foot flames upon derailing and was transporting materials that triggered a fireball when they were released and incinerated, it was not it was not being regulated as a high hazard flammable train, federal officials told the lever. Norfolk Southern paid executives millions and spent billions on stock buybacks, all while the company shed thousands of employees despite warnings that understaffing is intensifying safety risks. The company officials also fought off a shareholder initiative that could have required company executives to assess, review, and mitigate risks of hazardous material transportation. Good evening. It has happened again for the third day in a row and the fourth time in just nine days. The United States has shot down an unidentified high-flying object. A senior administration official telling NBC News the unmanned object was detected over Montana, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And at the direction of President Biden, it was shot down. Oh, 
you think these guys bother to believe their own theatrics? Or are they just like, oh no, of course that vinyl chloride can't explode. <laughs> you don't need brakes on trains, you, you use the old brakes. <laughs> don't sweat it. Or they just pass the check and they wink and then they say these things in public and then the rest of the press goes, oh, it must be true. A, a beloved politician and a beloved lobbyist said it. These aren't, these aren't, these aren't storm clouds. This is the fucking shit. That they burn off the fucking shit they burn off in East Palestine. This is not fucking storm clouds. Look at it. This is over Darlington. <laughs>